Hello everyone. So today I'm so, joined by Heli Fantanulia. Uh, uh, and Heli, can you introduce yourself? Like, what country you're from? Where you're working? What your current job is? And show us around a little bit about, because you're actually underground right now. So that's pretty cool. Okay. So uh, good morning. I'm here in the Philippines right now. Uh, I'm Heli Fantanulia. Currently working here at the Felix Mining Corporation. Uh, it is actually an underground mine complex uh, utilizing a multi lib uh, block and sub level caving. So, currently we are mining at a rate of 23,000 uh, metric tons per day. So, at least it is a common uh, commonality that uh, we are currently working here in a block cave. That, uh, okay, I see. All right, so uh, thank you for that detailed introduction about your mining operation. Can you take us through yeah. a day in life of what you do as a foreman? Uh, particularly, uh, I, what I do as a foreman is uh, I, we want to ensure the overall safety of our people. So particularly in terms of their fatigue management and also their uh, safety in the workplace. Mm -hmm. Because uh, sometimes we do only at least consider the physical safety of the person itself. But uh, sometimes we do not consider the psychological aspect of it, which is also important. That uh, we need to see the behavioral aspects of the person itself going to work and also ensure that he or she uh, is going to going home again. Uh, to the work again, uh, safe. Right. Because uh, we need to at least uh, prioritize our, our people. Because as someone said, uh, human or human resources is the best capital asset that we need in a certain company. Right. Right on. Uh, second, secondly, uh, we do monitor the status of our equipment, as I earlier said. We monitor our equipment, particularly our crushers, our buggers, rock breakers, conveyors, uh, particularly in terms of their maintenance and how if they work properly or not, or sometimes if they at least have a irregularities that must be addressed. So uh, at first, uh, it's quite a bit uh, hard for me to address those ones because as an entry-level engineer, you should assert yourself as an author authorized person in the in the workplace. Because sometimes you handle people ages 30 and up, 40 mm -hmm. and up, and you are just only at your 20s. So it's quite big, it's quite challenging sometimes that you impose your authority to older persons that they, you need to assert your ideas, your concepts, because sometimes they are used to something, all the methods or all traditional methods that is being okay to them. But you as a, but you as a, have a new idea, uh, you need to at least uh, give them the advantages of uh, adapting or being as early adapters of the certain technologies certain practices because uh, as far as I know uh, our industry is extremely conservative in terms of this particularly we are transitioning uh, in the so-called industry industrial revolution version 4 actually mm -hmm. that uh, we need to integrate analytics we need to integrate machine learning sometimes in our operation so we need we, we just need to see the bright side of it and just uh, as a foreman, uh, I do know that uh, there are high hopes of uh, being be produced here in the industry, particularly in mining. And also, there are other swamp, uh, particularly the renewables. If you know the renew renewables, particularly the inception of uh, battery electric vehicles, and also hybrid technologies that must be integrated right now in the economy. Okay, right on. And can you 
Tell us more about what sort of chef you work and how many hours you work in a day. Actually, uh, it depends sometimes based on uh, the situation of our managers. But we currently do work a uh, 10-hour shift. And every 10 days, we do it for a shift change. So uh, we do have a working roster of uh, six days work and one day off. It's quite a, it's quite a bit tiring. But uh, I know uh, sometimes some others uh, say it would be efficient to work. But uh, as far as we know, some Australian mines do have a good working roster. For example, uh, some mines do have a five to working roster. 7 7 working roster or others. Uh, still, it depends on the room. Uh, but I see still uh, the shifting for me right now is okay. Uh, the body adjusted already, but uh, looking forward to more uh, good working environment just in case. Okay, and what's the favorite part about your job? What uh, do you my like favorite most? part of the job uh, is all about people engagement. Because you, as a leader, you need to at least give your attention to your people. Because uh, if you don't, if they don't see you as a leader, they won't follow you, or they won't follow your orders. They won't follow your directives. Uh, like, why is uh, they won't? They would affect the company overall just because you're not uh, getting yourself asserted in the leadership position. So that's the best role that I want uh, to harness in it, to be as a leader in the certain industry. Because uh, as we get older, we go to other positions like managerial, the executive ones, and still they need that particular type of role, the leadership role. So that's what I want to emphasize in every each of us, particularly the younger generations. Uh, it's uh, it's okay to start uh, being a leader step by step. That uh, as far as we know, that uh, our our environment is very dynamic. Thus, we need to adapt. We need to be flexible. We need to be versatile in it. Mm -hmm. And before, well, Heli, uh, before we let you go, can you show us quickly? Uh, just flip your camera to see what it's like in your work environment right now. Uh, actually, I'm here right now, Ben, working in here. It is actually an underground control room, but uh, uh, actually there, uh, let me see, this one. Cool. Uh, actually, it is a sub-complex. It's only a sub-complex of the room uh, right now, but uh, if you're going to the workplace itself, uh, it's actually more interesting. <laughs> yeah, and you probably can't go right yeah. now because you don't have your hard hats on. Well, Heli, yeah. sounds like you're getting some very good leadership experience working as a mining foreman. Uh, do you have any final yeah. words to say to people who are aspiring to be mining engineers? Any okay. last tips of advice? Uh, okay. uh, to actually to all aspiring mining engineers, uh, I just want to at least uh, give them a word that uh, we should be hungry in information. We should be hungry in the technology we are in. That uh, please, we are not uh, we are not uh, contented of what we are. What what are we here? Why are we here? Or we are not contented on such that we do not settle. We just continue to learn. We just continue to upgrade, upskill ourselves, and also be of integrity and respect to our executives and the company itself. Awesome. Well, Heli, thank you so much for doing this interview with us, especially all the way from Deep Underground. Um, we'll wrap yeah. it up here then. Thank you so much, Heli. Oh, you're welcome. See ya.